everyone, this is Khaled from uh, GNS3 Talk and in this quick video I'll show you how to install GNS3 on a Mac OS X. Um, I think I'm running the 10.7 uh, Mac OS X version which I believe they call it Leopard or Lion or one of these uh, uh, one of these cat names. So what I'm going to do first is just go and jump into the GNS3 website. So go to GNS3 and Let's maximize the font and just click on the uh, gns3.net dot, uh, dot uh, click on download and go to Mac OS 10 and download oh yeah so you could see it's uh, uh, the current version that I have is line so download the 10.7 uh, package which can which should contain uh, everything uh, so yeah you click on download you jump into this uh, Mirror. I'm not really going ahead and download it because as I've already downloaded it before on my desktop. Uh, so what you need to do is you just double click on the DMG file. Uh, DMG is similar to ISO and all of these uh, image files. So I'm going to go Command N to bring up another window. And all you have to do is just go to Application and drag and drop uh, GNS3 into the application folder. I have an older version of GNS3 so I'm going to replace it. Alright so it looks like it's all good. I'm just get rid of this and I'm gonna go to GNS3 and bring it into the dock. Okay so what I'm going to do now is just launch the application. So basically this is it. That's how well we've just installed GNS3. Uh, GNS3, uh, the package, the entire package comes uh, with Dynamips, uh, which is the engine that emulates the Cisco routers. So as you may see, GNS3 is, uh, has just started. And uh, if we have a fresh install uh, of GNS3, uh, you would end up with this setup wizard, which has uh, three steps, which should guide you through uh, of how to set up GNS3. So the first step is asking you to check out whether Dynamips, which is the emulator for the Cisco routers, is working. So click on step one. All I have to do is just click on test settings and it should start working. Yep. Uh, um, uh, the thing is Dynamips comes uh, uh, inside the package of GNS3. So if you're familiar with how uh, um, how Mac OS 10 packages come. So this dot app, GNS3 dot app, if you right click on it and you go to show package contents, you will end up with a few uh, few folders where Dynamips will be in one of these folders. If you uh, if you follow up this path, which is GNS3 dot app, contents, resources, Dynamips, then Dynamips will be located here. So next time if a new version of Dynamips comes out and GNS3 is not updated by then, you could just go and uh, go through the uh, gns 3 app and update Dynamips within uh, within that uh, package. Okay, so step one is done. So the uh, Dynamips has uh, successfully started. I'm gonna go okay. The second step is says configure the path to your iOS image directory. As you may know, the Cisco uh, iOS you need to uh, you need to obtain it legally via opt via Cisco. Um, if you have a router at home, then you could just basically just copy the image into a T TFTP uh, server. Then you could use that image to run it on your GNS3 uh, software. Okay, so I'm going uh, via the general settings tab, and I usually leave these ones intact. The project directory is usually under my Dropbox, so I'm going to go Dropbox, and it's actually the GNS3 project for Mac. Go choose. The OS image location is, uh, is a separate folder and I'm going to go to choose. Uh, you don't really need to go to clear the INI. INI has got all the settings for your GNS3 so you basically you need to keep him uh, or even uh, have a backup of this uh, of this file. The terminal settings, uh, I'm going to use terminal which is the default application used in uh, Mac OS X and click on use. Uh, the GUI setting just leave it as it, as it is. So go apply, then OK. Uh, the last step, which is adding an iOS 
uh, or the operating system of the Cisco router into GNS3. I'm going to go and click on the image file and I'm going to choose the 3660 uh, image. If you've uh, downloaded the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the image file from uh, Cisco or from your router, uh, it usually uh, comes with a .bin extension. Uh, the dot bin is a compressed uh, Cisco IOS image, whereas the dot image is the uncompressed one. Uh, usually, Cisco routers, when you boot the Cisco router, it might take about a minute to two minutes to, for it to fully boot an un uncompressed image. So, um, for your GNS3 settings, and given that your PC could handle a gigabyte of, of data, it's better to uncompress this image, the dot bin, into a dot image. Uh, how, how, how can we do that? Well, if you choose a dot bin, which we assume it's the uh, iOS that you downloaded from the Cisco website or from your router, you go open and GNS3 is, uh, I think from the uh, 0.8.2 uh, upward has enabled uh, a function where it could uncompress the dot bin. So as you may see from this message, the Cisco I iOS image is compressed. Would you like to uncompress it? So you usually say yes. I'm gonna go here and say no because I've already got the uh, the dot image, so I'm just gonna go to the uh, dot image one. Okay, so the path has been defined for the iOS. The base config. This uh, I'm gonna use a plain uh, a plain text. The base uh, the base config is the basic configuration that you could uh, load into your router, uh, even if it was not configured previously. Uh, things like uh, the NTP settings, uh, ne the network. Uh, uh, timing uh, protocol uh, uh, settings, uh, some certain host name settings, or any any access list settings that you want to apply into all of your routers uh, before you start any project, or you could leave it uh, leave, leave it empty. So this is where the base config dot text is. Uh, the platform uh, is a 30, uh, 3600 platform. The model of the router, which is a thirty six sixty. The adult PC value. This is very important to uh, to highlight. This is something that I'll come across. Uh, uh, soon. Alright, so we are done. We've added the Cisco IS. All we have to do is uh, save. And you can see that the uh, Cisco IS has been added and the it's uh, the, from the IP address you could see it's for the local machine. Now, there's a warning at the bottom. It says uh, idle PC would have to be configured. Well, the idle PC value is a value which is calculated by Dynamips um, for, the, for the 3660 routers and based on the uh, processor that we're using. So based on the processor and the, uh, and the, Cisco, and the Cisco image, the uh, Dynamips, which is the engine behind GNS3, calculates the perfect idle PC value so that it does not utilize all the uh, CPU uh, resources at the background. This is something I'll show you in a second, in a minute. Second would be too short. Okay, so I'm gonna go close here. Well, the the other tab, which is external hypervisor, this is something uh, uh, I've highlighted in a, in a previous videos uh, before. So you might as well uh, jump into all the videos that I upload into YouTube, and you could have a look at them. All right, so I'm gonna go. Well, we've already saved it, so I'm gonna go close now. And okay, now the GNS3 is now ready. But before I go, I go ahead and. Uh, uh, launch it. I'm going to bring the activity monitor, which shows us the uh, CPU utilization. I'm going to just double click on the CPU usage and don't worry about this one. So you could see from the CPU usage, I think it's uh, sitting about 20, 25, uh, 20 to 30 percent of the, uh, uh, of the uh, CPU resources. Uh, what I'm going to do now is bring uh, about three routers. Given that we have configured the 3600 uh, series, uh, this is the only router I could configure. I can't really use any of uh, these routers unless I have an IS image for them. So uh, so this is uh, router one, uh, router two, router three, and router four. Okay, for some reason I started from right to left, but that could be because I'm I come from an Arabic background and we usually write from right to left even though that I have written or read Arabic in uh, in years. But anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do now is just put them apart. 
actually let me I, I'd like to keep uh, have it connected first before we start we start them I'm going to go and use this Ethernet switch which is basically just a dull switch which is unmanaged switch and use fast Ethernet to connect into from the routers to that switch as you may see, uh, the link uh, towards the router is uh, still red, which means that the routers are not released, have, have not started yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is start the routers. So they should start automatically. The uh, Dynamics is working. Uh, Cisco IS has been added, and I'm going to go click on Play. Uh, have I clicked? Let's try. Oh, okay. So I click now, and keep an eye on the CPU utilization now. There you go, so the nodes are starting. Okay, so you could see that the CPU utilization has reached about 100%. I have the Core 2 Dual Processor. Uh, yes, I want GMS3. Um, so if I go to the about this Mac, you go to more info, you could see which uh, processor that you have, and you can s you could see it's a 2.5 gig Intel Core 2 Duo. I only have about 4 gig of RAM. Um, I would look, I would love to have like 8 gig. 8 gig would handle a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of routers, uh, but that should be enough for uh, for a laptop. Okay, so uh, what do we do? Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, set up the uh, the proper idle PC value. And see if the CPU utilization uh, would uh, would drop into the initial um, uh, value which we had initially, which was about 20 to 30 percent. Uh, so the best way to do it is basically wait for your routers to idle. So what I'm going to do is just go into any of the routers, click on it, and you can see it's uh, it's it has boot uh, it has booted up. Uh, And you can see it's just listed the two fast Ethernet, uh, which means that the uh, router has stopped uh, the booting up uh, process. All right, so I'm just gonna close this off. Uh, so the best thing to set up the idle PC value is right click on it. You choose idle PC. And just wait for Dynamips to come up with a few uh, idle PC values, okay. Uh, you should end up with this window, which should say potentially better idle PC values marked with, and there's something missing from here. Uh, so, yep, just extend this one, and you can see the star here. So, anything marked with a star uh, should be uh, the perfect value according to Dynamics. But given look, if you have a look at this, you can see that there is nothing marked with a star. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, look. I could choose any value from one to five. I could choose five, four, or three, or two, and one. All I'm going to do now is just choose number one. So I'm going to go apply and OK. And I'll wait to see if the CPU utilization will drop. If it doesn't, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, choose another value. So uh, you can see that it hasn't dropped. So this is a uh, trial and error uh, process. Uh, I'm going to go choose idle PC. I'm going to click yes and wait for it. Uh, there's a, another video that I uploaded uh, not so long ago which shows you that you could uh, connect about up to 100 uh, routers uh, using GNS3 if you have a proper idle PC value chosen. Alright, so you can see, see it, it came up with uh, only four uh, values in this case. Again, I'm going to choose number two now and go, click on apply, then OK, and wait to see if this will drop. Again, it hasn't. Interesting. It's usually the first or second value comes up, it, uh, it's fine, but yeah, I'll keep trying. I could hear the fans on my CPU have started, uh, started going crazy, but this is expected. Uh, yeah, I'm going to choose 6 in this case. Let me go further from the uh, from the 1. And look at the CPU utilization, it has already dropped now. So yes, after about three times, uh, uh, the uh, Dynamips, uh, I chose the proper value that Dynamips gave me, and you could see uh, the routers uh, are not really using as much uh, CPU 
resources as it used to be before before setting up the other PC value. So yes, so you could add about another 10, 15 rocks in, in, in into this uh, operating system, into this CPU, into this uh, uh, laptop uh, without needing uh, without the need to worry about the uh, uh, the resources. Well, uh, this is basically a simple uh, way of um, installing uh, Genesis 3, uh, the Cisco IOSs, and setting up the idle PC value. Uh, this video would complement uh, the videos that I uploaded previously, uh, which shows you how to install GNS3 on an Ubuntu, on a Windows 7, and um, and a few tweaks and configurations that you uh, that you could do. Well, I hope uh, this video has been informative, and I would like to thank you for watching.